savings were probably about 40% over a traditional wired system. We're able to reduce the amount of wiring in the field, reduce the labor cost associated with running those wires, and increase the startup time of your plant, and of course, deliver product faster. The traditional marshalling cabinets were eliminated. One of the flexibilities for the charm system was the ability to change on the fly the locations of I.O. points. The changes that we made in our I.O. count and I.O. locations were extremely quick. Southern States Chemical in Wilmington, North Carolina is one of North America's largest providers of sulfuric acid, a component in nearly all manufactured goods. From pulp and paper, to dye and pigment, to water treatment, to pharmaceutical and food industries. Sulfuric acid is the most widely traded commodity in the world. A key concern in making sulfuric acid is controlling emissions. The air environmental standards that we are relegated to are with SO2 emissions and also acid mist emissions. Completed in 2010, this greenfield plant is the culmination of Southern State's desire to increase capacity and a vision that looked beyond expanding and upgrading its aging plant. The old plant, uh, we controlled almost everything manually. We actually did have to go out in the field and manually open and close valves. The only way we had to, to do adjustments down there is we counted the threads, you know? I mean, people laugh when we say that, but that's the only indication we could get on how much that valve's moving. The company's outside-the-box modernization solution included building the new plant partially with components from a decommissioned 30-year-old government munitions plant 1,100 miles away in Wisconsin. The second component was locating the plant next door to a large manufacturer that would buy the main byproduct of the sulfuric acid process, steam. The primary purpose of this facility is to produce steam. The secondary byproduct is actually sulfuric acid, which is reversed from what we typically see. Finally, Southern States equipped the Greenfield plant with an integrated, state-of-the-art process automation system from Emerson, including the Delta V system with electronic marshalling and characterization module, or CHARM technology. The different technologies we use are heart, um, thermocouples, RTDs, flow elements, the charm modules. We actually looked at a standard system uh, that would use foundation field bus that had wiring all the way from the I.O. point into the cabinet into the control room and at a very late date the charm cabinets and charm systems became available and that was a real saver for construction costs and reliability. The primary savings for this choice was the construction cost and with the charm system the savings were probably about 40 percent over a traditional wired system. Utilizing the charm IO structure you're able to reduce the amount of wiring in the field, reduce the labor cost associated with running those wires, and increase the startup time of your plant and of course deliver product faster. The traditional marshalling cabinets were eliminated Basically, we come from the charm modules with dual Ethernet cabling into the control room. Dramatic installation savings in a plant with dramatic capacity increase. With the new plant, we're producing three times the amount of product with the same amount of personnel versus the old uh, system. Rough estimate, we might have been putting out about 150 tons a day at the old plant. We're now making roughly 575. But with the increased output came a new commitment to fulfill. The uptime requirement for this plant is very high. Uh, we are relied upon by our customer to supply them steam. And also our customers for sulfuric acid need a consistent supply. Part of the uptime consideration was the reliability of our systems out in the plant for I.O., our transmitters, and also the Delta V system itself. The charm I.O. structure uh, reduces the number of failure points in a control system. Uh, for example, if you have a card failure on a conventional I.O. card, you may lose eight channels, you may lose eight points. With the CHARM architecture, you only lose one. 
In addition to wiring savings, Southern states saw engineering savings during configuration. One of the flexibilities for the charm system was the ability to change on the fly the locations of I.O. points. We had several cases where a I.O. point was located to a different charm cabinet and it was very easy for us to relocate the charm module and reconfigure it in the Delta V system. Also the ability to add additional I.O. points, it was extremely easy to do it and a lot less wiring cost. The changes that we made in our I.O. count and I.O. locations were extremely quick with the charm system and it did not delay our startup at all. After startup, the Delta V electronic marshalling technology continued to deliver results. Having independent isolated I.O. with part modems in each charm allows the plant to rapidly see if there are any type of device issues or process issues in the field. It helps them react quickly to any process or equipment issues and continue to run their process efficiently. For southern states, the transition from manual to state-of-the-art digital automation produced continual payoffs, starting with operator training. My total training time was approximately two weeks. Once we were starting out the process at the new plant here, um, we were on about three to four week uh, training process, on-job training. Regulating that's the strength that the old plant would probably, I'd say, three months of training, 90 days of training. The regulation of the acid strength at the new plant, oh man, I would say it would be cut in half anyway, two weeks, if that. Digital automation meant increased process information and greater control. We're able to control from the control room all aspects of the plant. Sulfur flow, temperatures, water, pressures, the acid strength. Uh, everything. The Delta V system definitely allows us to control the amount and pounds per hour going to Invista on a daily basis, minute by minute. With improved process control comes improved maintenance and reduced downtime. We can see problems ahead of time and get to the problem and fix it before it actually happens. So it makes it a lot more preventative and it keeps our plant uh, running more efficient. It cuts that downtime down. You can target temperatures a whole lot easier, your flow, flow rates, everything else like that. So I think it, it helps you make a better product. Along with improved product quality comes improved environmental stewardship, a key priority for southern states. The emission rates that we've achieved at this plant are much lower than the standards that we are required to meet. Southern states saw the integrated automation solution from a single supplier as a key consideration. The integration of our micromotions, our flow meters, our thermocouples, RTDs, flow elements, all of that, including the valve packages, really was a big plus and a big decision maker for choosing Emerson. And local support was also part of Southern State's automation decision. Local representation of Emerson products was very important as part of the decision-making process. Having somebody on hand here local uh, definitely helps us out um, in degrees of downtime versus where in the past we would have to contact somebody and they could be a day or two before they come out. The Delta V system that we currently use now with the charms has really opened our eyes to the new technology and it will certainly be used in future projects that Southern States Chemical will be looking at in the future.